Church Going by Philip Larkin Once I'm sure there's nothing going on, I step inside, letting the door thud shut. Another church, matting seats in stone and little books. Sprawlings of flowers cut for Sunday, brownish now. Some brass and stuff up at the holy end. A small neat organ. And a tense, musty, and ignorable silence brewed God knows how long. Hatless, I take off my cycle clips in awkward reverence. Move forward, run my hand around the font. From where I stand, the roof looks almost new. Cleaned or restored? Someone would know. I don't. Mounting the lectern, I peruse a few hectoring large-scale verses and pronounce Surrender! much more loudly than I'd meant. The echoes snigger briefly. Back at the door, I sign the book. Donate an Irish sixpence. Reflect the place was not worth stopping for. Yet stop I did. In fact, I often do. And always, and much at a loss like this. Wondering what to look for. Wondering too when churches fall completely out of use. What we shall turn them into. If we shall keep a few cathedrals chronically on show. Their parchment plate and picks in locked cases. And let the rest rent free to rain and sheep. Shall we avoid them? as in lucky places. Or after dark, will dubious women come to make the children touch a particular stone, pick simples for a cancer, or on some advice night see walking a dead one. Power of some sort, or other, will go on, in games and riddles seemingly at random. But superstition, like belief, must die. And what remains when disbelief has gone? Grass, weedy pavement, brambles, buttress sky, a shape less recognisable each week, a purpose more obscure. I wonder who will be the last, the very last, to seek this place for what it was. One of the crew that tap and jot to know what rude lofts were, some ruin bibber randy for antique or christmas addict counting on a whiff of groan and bands and organ pipes and myrrh or will he be more representative bored uninformed knowing the ghostly silt dispersed yet tending to this cross of ground through suburb scrub because it held and spilt so long and equably what since is found only in separation marriage and birth and death and thoughts of these for which was built this special shell for though i've no idea what this accoutred frowsty barn is worth it pleases me to stand in silence here a serious house on serious earth it is in whose blent air all our compulsions meet, are recognised and robed as destinies. And that much never can be obsolete, since someone will forever be surprising. A hunger in himself to be more serious, and gravitating with it to this ground, which he once heard was proper to grow wise in, if only that so many dead lie round.